And we're back again Sir. with He Say, She Say. I'm Alexa. And I'm Gary. And once again, we got Ted Park in the building and Yo. DJ Ricky Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Ted, get, let's, get into, let's get into the the true beginnings. You're from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Madison, Wisconsin. So what, okay. what, what is that Wisconsin like? <coughs> like for, especially for you as a rapper. Like, what, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, uh, see, everyone thinks Wisconsin is just cows and farms. But it's not like cheese. that. It's not like <laughs> I mean, people, I don't eat cheese, personally. Oh, you don't? You don't? Yeah. Do you eat dairy? You know dairy? Oh, no, I love ice cream. Oh, okay, pizza, okay. But no cheese. cheese, can't do cheese. Cheeseburgers, lasagna. No. Really? Dub. Cheese is lit. Dub. But anyways. Disgusting. <laughs> but nah, um, it's it's very chill. It's very small. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 cool. It's, it's like, for me, Madison is the type of place where if you were to raise a family later in life, oh, okay. it's a good place to be. Right. Yeah. Very safe, slow-paced. Everyone takes, I actually took my boys out there. We just sold out a show um, last month. Like a homecoming thing and to celebrate the new single. My boy throws these art shows. Mm -hmm. And we were on a street, like in New York, it would be like 60 miles per hour. The speed limit was 35. My boy was like, what the oh, wow. fuck? Wait, on tight. a highway or like? It wasn't a highway, but it's like a, a open road, you know? Mm -hmm. And everyone was tight. They were just like, yo, just go fast. I'm like, no, we're going to get locked up. <laughs> For real? Oh, they, they, uh, the state it. troopers be on it like that? Oh, the they don't, they don't like that? play games in Madison. You'll get like, you know, you can't do anything. Damn. But everyone is very moderate there, so it's cool. But no, it's it's very chill. So when did um did you start rapping in Wisconsin or no. did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> nah. See, I used to play sports. Like uh -huh. it's like the untold tale I never speak on. Like I used to play ball and like football and stuff. Really? Like, six to six. Yeah, because I've been this tall since like sixth grade. But that's good so, though. Yeah, Wait, so were you yeah. nice at it? Were you like I would, on your I, way I to get testimonies. I was straight. I was definitely straight. straight. Okay. I still you know, got football it. Football is popular out there, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. All athletics, it's they all about they breed sports. kids, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I was I was I was fake nice, you know. But then I moved to Korea, and um, oh, okay. you know, ball didn't impress no one. So I was like, okay. <laughs> the Koreans don't give a fuck about yeah, ball. Yeah, they don't give there. a fuck. So I was, so and I was, I was running around playing a little soccer, and you know. What do they give a fuck about in Korea? Like, what, what's like? Computer games. Okay. okay. Karaoke. They love karaoke. Karaoke. I, and you know, at first it's funny because you know when I was in sixth grade, I was in my little my semi hood phase, like Air uh -huh. Jordan, everything. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, clarification. You yeah. were born in Wisconsin. Yeah. And then at what age did you move to Korea? And and the seventh grade. End of seventh grade. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how old, how are you in like seventh grade? How old are you in seventh it's like grade? 12, 13. Something 13? Like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. 12, 12, okay. 13. So 13 I, in Korea. <clears throat> and I came back to America freshman year of high school. So at, okay. like, at like 15. Uh, so you spent uh, roughly like what, two years? Yeah, a year and a half. Okay. Changed my life. Because, you know, before I was just like, oh, yeah, oh, it's all masculinity. Like, oh, you know, shorts well below the knees, you know, uh -huh. just playing sports all day. Uh -huh. And then I moved there and I'm like, and this isn't the wave, so I got, <laughs> I got, I got influence. I got influence, and then I realized how much I enjoy to really listen to music because uh -huh. I couldn't speak Korean, so it was isolated for me. Like oh. everyone would be friends with me, like oh, but just because I was from America. How many people genuinely really really like fuck with you? Oh, me? I don't okay. know. <clears throat> so then I would just be with myself, and like I was doing so bad in school because I couldn't speak the language. And wow! So I was it's like, like it was like it was, it was like backwards for you. Like you know, yeah. a lot of times you know you grow up in Korea, and I didn't you come grow up to around Asian people. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, fuck. So then I was listening to mad music. I started getting into hip hop and R and B at that mm -hmm. point. I was like, oh, this looks kind of fun. I was always a good writer. Uh -huh. My dad is a professor and a linguist. So oh okay. You know, what they what they educated. what they listen to out there though in, in Korea? Um, yeah, is they like a <laughs> no, but American <laughs> one? Nah. They're, they well right now you know the, the the trap wave is on. Okay. But when I was out there, they really liked like Jay Z, Eminem, Ti, Kanye. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Stuff That's, like that. Yeah, and, my, yeah. and all my friends from Madison were still putting me on to like when Drake was just coming out. Oh, all right. And you know Big Sean and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I was just, that's how I got into the music because I was just like, I started writing and then I, I was like, yo, I'm just going to make music somehow. So I downloaded Audacity on my dad's computer. <laughs> I, I found like a little webcam mic and I just started making music. Man, With Bulek. Audacity, the most on my the space, simplest, yeah. the simplest, the audio. simplest recording program <laughs> was, out there. And it was mad fun, but no one is, I'm never going to revisit that shit. I don't even have the You got to revisit it. Gone. I can't, I can't, they're gone. But I can tell the you they were not thing. too good. They yeah, I, could tell, good. I mean, they had to be trash. They was going on all It death. was kind of trash, you know. And when I first, I was like, yo, this shit fire. Mm, of this, course. This that industry quality. And then I, <laughs> he said this that industry quality. <laughs> I would be bumping in, my, in like these little headphones like, yeah, this shit fire. I told, I told everyone in my school, yo, I got the studio. 
<laughs> but that's good though. You gotta believe in yourself in order for you to yeah. in order for you to get to this point where you're at now. Yeah, the self confidence was always on ten. That's good. That's you good. Know? Yeah, that's what matters. That's what matters. So yeah. you spent two years in Korea and then you moved back to Wisconsin yeah. or you moved to yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, with my mom's. And then when did you come to New York? Last year. Last year? Oh, yeah. so you've only been here about a year? All yeah. Right. It was, so you you was getting a following before you came to New York? Yeah, because we'll see what happened was I was building a local base because in high school I would just throw shit out every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Music wasn't the best, but it was it, it circulated. Yeah. And I was developing at the same time. When I was 18, I signed to an indie with distribution through a major. Mm-hmm. And I got moved down south. Um, I was going between Charlotte and Atlanta. I was oh, recording, okay. being developed. I had a budget for the first time. Didn't work out because <clears throat> I don't let no one play me. Yeah. You know, but um, you know, it was a great situation though. Like you know, I, I got to live on my own. I made some good money. Mm-hmm. I got to learn, find myself as an artist, and then I got to start. I got discovered again. How old were you at this, at this age? I, I signed before my senior year, and I dropped out, and I got flown out. What? So I was like 18. Was it a specific song that that got yeah, you? Yeah, it too? was a it was a, it was like a, a radio type single. And they thought it could have been a big record, so mm-hmm. I got a budget and I got moved out, and I was being developed. So yeah, it was off a record. Even though that record, I don't know if it's, I'm ever gonna drop it because I just got the rights back. Yeah. Oh okay. But, um, <clears throat> it was a great experience, and I'm thankful because I got to be independent at mm-hmm. a young age, which in my opinion is the right age. Mm-hmm. And um, I got to learn myself. Um, and That's important. Yeah, yeah, you know, I got to really understand like, huh, like you could really make a living off of this.